Today is May 16th. It is 11 a.m. and I am at the trailhead for the Crawford Path. It feels like summer. <laughs> it is actually spring right now, but we've had some very warm weather. So today, 73 degrees. And the forecast is for a temporary clear time before possible rain showers later. We've had a lot of rain for two days. And before that, it was really hot. So all the snow up there has melted. And it's all run off. And a peanut butter date. <laughs> My legs are good. My legs are like, yeah, next step, next step. Fluid motion. But I think it's my heart rate. Watch says like 170. That is not acceptable. <laughs> Cause I would like to be doing this at 130, to be honest, I don't. Yeah, so that's what's making me feel like tired, brain fog, just out of shape. Yeah, I do have micro spikes today, um, but look, I don't know, I don't know, can I just walk on that? Some of it seems... I see it. I see the sign. Point seven. <laughs> Point seven. I know you you must be thinking like, well didn't you know that? Like maybe. But I'm in denial right now. Okay. Okay. Just taking a moment to look at all these baby pine trees. That way and over there, I do see signs of an old blowdown of older pine trees. And apparently, <laughs> it's kindergarten for pine trees. There's just so many cute little trees here. They look like they're doing well. Hmm. <laughs> I 
that was my first post hole. <laughs> that snow looked sturdy, but I just went down through it. Two hundred feet to the hut. Look at this blow down tunnel. Yes, it is a hut. I have arrived. I have never been to this hut before. Should be fun. I believe it was built in 1964. This is the newest hut. Looks big. Bigger than I expected. part. They crossed off. It is a busy night. <laughs> because it's not a busy night. It's Monday. It's Monday and it's going to rain. So who would come up here? <sighs> Recovery heart rate. 128 beats per minute. And it took me over three hours. <laughs> Ooh, my watch says it will take three days for me to recover. That's too bad, because I'm doing it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm to do a tour, but I don't feel so good. So. I think I should go look at the bunks and maybe lay down. Well, the first bunk is right up the stairs. feeling better after two and a half hours of laying in the fetal position on the bunk or outside or if I would get up and see if I could feel better and I didn't so I was just down for the count for a while there I just couldn't eat and uh, my heart rate did come down but I just felt a little almost nauseous but not quite and I had like not really a headache but just I just felt like my body was like mm. I didn't even move when I curled up. Anyway, I finally felt well enough to make some oatmeal and the noon tab, which I put in hot water in my cup here. And I cannot say enough good things about noon tabs. I'm not a sponsored video or anything, but those electrolyte tabs have saved me like multiple times. Just I don't know if I'm just crashing when I'm hiking and I'm not fit enough, but for revival, I just think those things are awesome. So I'm finishing one in here. He said this window looking toward the south is most likely to get cell service. When I got here, I did have one bar of cell service on my phone, but when the cloud came over, no more cell service. And now I'm just trying to send my family a message just to let them know that I'm feeling better. So these huge amount of blowdowns, the caretaker inside was telling me this is called a fir wind. One wave of trees clears the way for another wave to be knocked down, etc. This is where the helicopter lands and that lets hikers just refill their water supply. He said they're on well water here and it's clean water. You can definitely see many places throughout this hut that show its build date, you know, 1964. Like it, it has steel girders and it has various features that the older huts do not have. 
Uh, so I'm curious to go see the tent site. Oops. Watch my footing. There's a platform and a makeshift bench. It's a very interesting atmosphere. Here's oh, there is a tent. There's the bear boxes. Last night they had 60 people full staying here. All the bunks full. Can you imagine? <sighs> so why don't I just show you the before and after of my bunk. Here's the before. And here's my bunk now that I have made it. Also this time I think I did a little better in the toiletries department. Okay, since nobody's here, why don't we go check out the bathroom? It's very simple, but today, running water. Whereas last time, ooh, lightning. I feel kind of bad for the guy in the tent. I mean, it's kind of cool and everything that there's someone in a tent, uh, but lightning, thunder. The toilets at the huts are very simple. It's a composting style toilet, so it does not flush. Uh, but generally there's no odor and it's a clean experience and then when it's not freezing cold they have running water cold running water no hot water it's a big kitchen three washing station what are the washing soapy rinsing bleaching yep. weather is going to be rainy all night and this is a big water heater and outside you probably already saw a lot of propane tanks there's like solar panels and this is a solar power battery and that tells the status of that i guess and then of course the stove and cook dinner and there's a, a boiling water awesome yeah, so what needs to happen now is I have to go downstairs to the little cellar where the refrigerator is to get my food and it smells so bad down there because the toilet system is indoors but it's still the composting, whatever, clevis toilet. Anyway, I'm gonna hold my breath. Okay, it's time to make dinner. Oh, I got it on the first try. Okay, well I'm pretty happy with my breakfast even though even though it's not perfect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The 
caretaker and I are so excited to see the sun. We're like running toward the door to look at it. It's just pretty awesome to see that bright thing in the sky. That might be Jackson. And then from here to Jackson, you said it was maybe one. Yeah, it's one point seven to Jackson. I think if you did round trip, I was looking again at the distances. It's like four miles if you go to Jackson and down, and like two point seven if you go down the Crawford Path. Okay. So. So it's like a little farther. Mile. It's an extra mile. Yeah. Extra mile, but that and would like get me. A quarter mile. And then road. from here to Jackson, what's like the elevation? It's pretty flat. It's like a little up and down. That sounds but nice. Overall. And what's the name of that trail from Jackson down? Uh, it's the Webster Jackson Trail. Okay, which I've done in winter before. So if I went down, then I come out of that other parking lot, and you were saying that's just like a little bit south of the Yeah, AMC. you can see the Highland Center. And then if the sun is still shining like this, that might be my best bet, because going up seems a little sketchy from my situation. This yeah. Could be cloudy, could be a difficult little first section there. Yeah, it's it's a lot of up right away. Um, yeah. Up fierce. All right, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for being in my video. Nick. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I really enjoyed room one, which has four bunks. And here's my big window. So I am mostly packed up and ready to leave. But since I didn't do much of a tour of the hut yesterday, I thought I would just go outside a little bit and look around the hut a little bit to get some pictures of that. Well, the camper's gone. I guess he survived the uh, lightning and rain and packed up and head out. Maybe he's going along the ridge. And I am doing a Webster Jackson. All systems go. Hiking starts. Hi. Hello. How was this trail? Was there any evil monorail? Uh, there's a little bit of snow, but you, you can always find a step. It wasn't like a couple days ago for me. Okay, awesome. The Thanks. biggest. Uh, Kicker was the wind when I get up to the ledges. Okay, okay, that's where I'm going, but then down. Thank you. Yeah. The ledges. It's like another chance to change my mind, isn't it? The last of the monorail. Okay, I've gone about one mile from the hut all along the Jackson Trail. And I'm having a good time, I guess. <laughs> My heart rate is 105, which is nice and low. 30 something, especially if you count any wind chill.
the wind predictions for today are 40 to 70 miles per hour wind gusts on this part of the presidential range. And by this evening, there could be 100 mile per hour wind gusts on Mount Washington. Just a very lucky and temporary thing to be up here. I still have quite a ways. I mean, I think I have a mile before I hit that summit there, I believe it's Jackson. Looking just beautiful. Clear views. Oh, wow. This is on top of a mountain. This is moose territory. Look at this. Look, look over here. This is a great spot. That's why you listen to the caretaker. Thank you to Nick for suggesting that I do this. I would not have thought of it to go back down this way. Even though it looks like this, what you actually do is come on this stepping trail along the edge. There's plenty of rock face there and it just looks scary from afar. But as you go step by step, it's, it's just rock, rock, rock. I think this is the ledges. Oh man. I came out from there. Oh man. The views. Oh, there's the hut. There's no tree to hide into because the trees are all short due to the wind. I'm going to sit right here. Wow, how long do you think I could stay here before I freeze to death? You know what? It's like it's like brain freeze, so I gotta go. I gotta get up. Whoa. I gotta go up there. Whoa, whoa, mud, mud, mud. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, sit down, sit down. <laughs> okay, it literally blew me. Okay. Calm. I'm gonna put the camera away. Gonna go up that trail and then in like five minutes I'll be going down again. So safety. <laughs> it's so windy. Okay. I'm walking along the right side of the rocks that way. When the wind blows me over, I still have ten feet to catch myself. <laughs> There it is. Hello, Mount Jackson. So many mountains. Oh my goodness. This is just gorgeous. This is what we're looking at now. Last night, that hut we're at just couldn't see a darn thing. 
Couldn't see the full lunar eclipse last night. <laughs> Couldn't see anything. So I can see the bog boards. And now let's see what I have to eat. Kashi peanut butter cereal, kind of like a granola. I have an almond butter, that looks good. And I have one of these fruit jerky bars, that looks good. What is that, Mount Washington? I didn't realize I was looking right at it. Now I see the towers. So I'm finally hitting that place on the trail with less snow and ice and a more clear path that I can walk just straight down the middle of the trail. I still have a long ways to go, but it's easy. And my heart rate is 74. Remarkable. <laughs> I have been cruising along and these signs are right on. I'm actually pretty close with my watch. My watch says 3.3 miles I've come since the hut and the sign says the hut is 2.9 miles so pretty close. I'm like, it's so beautiful. And then I'm like, hold on, I have to cross this. Uh, I have to go there. I have to go there. Oh, a chipmunk. A red, red squirrel. <laughs> Them. Of course, yeah. Piece of cake. I had to stop and fix the insole in my shoe. But I can hear the highway. I'm almost there. I can see the pond down there. Woohoo! I'm back to the road. Hooray. 
I do not have any enthusiasm left. I am exhausted. And this sign says, Matt Jackson, 2.6 miles. Doesn't that just sound so easy? So, it's so cool. Let's see if I can... The old train station, the Highland Center. I would like to go in there and buy a souvenir. Here is the entrance for cars to go to the parking. Yes! Hello, Woodsy Owl. I have missed you. Five hours and 21 minutes, 5.6 miles. Start the recovery process as soon as you finish hiking. So I actually have ice in here, ice coffee, and the makings for a sandwich recovery drinks of some sort and of course extra water in case i'm out of water and i get back to the car and change of shoes and ibuprofen <laughs> anyway thanks for watching yet another video and i look forward to the next one